I won't stop till I hear him say Warning. The information that we convey in these videos and the content on this page simply provides general consumer information. It is not legal advice or regulatory guidance. It is not intended to sway your personal bias in any way. We are simply just relaying information already available to the general public. We highly suggest you do your own research and draft your own opinion on the topics disclosed in this video breakdown. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, consider doing so now. The things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you, whether you realize it in the moment or not. Okay, what is going on, CyperX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyperX YouTube page. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot thank you all enough. 9,000 YouTube subscribers. Never in my days did I think that uh, starting this YouTube channel, I would see that. So thank you all so much. There are still a certain percentage of individuals who are still undecided about subscribing. I ask that you consider doing so now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably going to be one of the most important YouTube video breakdowns that this YouTube has ever released. I need you all to take a second, listen to my voice, and really pay attention. This video comes with a warning to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to wake up. What it is that I'm about to say to you all is extremely important. The general public needs to protect themselves. This message in this video breakdown, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully allows you to either do one of two things. Wake yourself up, although maybe you are already awake and aware to what is happening in the world, or wake your neighbor up, wake your friend up, wake your family member up, send them this YouTube video as a warning. This is not financial advice. This is a message to relate to you all that there is a macro, a global, a financial a devastating shift that is about to take place. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you all proof in the pudding, okay? I would like to say something to you all before we go over some video snippets that I have for you all today. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video display. As I speak my mind to you all, I'd like for you to just take a second and really consider every single thing that has happened in the past 20 years. Before we get started again, ladies and gentlemen, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you enjoy intuitive intellectual video breakdowns like this. Before you hop off of this YouTube page, I ask that you all consider furthering your economic education, furthering your financial education, furthering your ability to accumulate wealth independently and not relying on the system, ladies and gentlemen, whether that's you decide to become a trader, whether that's you decide to become an entrepreneur, whether that's you decide to become a small business owner or an investor, take it upon yourself, regardless if you believe in what we are trying to convey here and what we are attempting to do for the general public at CyperX, or you seek a mentorship from somebody else, ladies and gentlemen, situate yourself for this revolution that is about to take place. Without further ado, let's get started. So first, we're going to be talking about the consciousness matrix and how the mass media manipulative tools that the elites utilize on a day-to-day -day basis are inherently apparent in the general public's eye as of right now. Most people do not understand that the universe is composed of interacting energy fields. Some are at rest and some are in motion. It is, in and of itself, one gigantic hologram of unbelievable complexity. According to the theories of Carl Pabrime, a neuroscientist at Stanford University, and David Bohm, a physicist at the University of London, the human mind is also a hologram which attunes itself to the universal hologram by the medium of energy exchange, thereby deducing meaning and achieving the state which we call consciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, with respect to the state of expanded or altered consciousness, such as gateway uses, the process operates in the following way. As energy passes through the various aspects of the universal hologram and is perceived by the electrostatic fields which compromise the human mind, the holographic images being conveyed are projected upon those electrostatic fields of the mind and are perceived or understood to the extent that the electrostatic field is operating at a frequency and amplitude that can harmonize with and therefore read the energy carrier wave pattern passing through it. 
Changes in the frequency and amplitude of the electrostatic field, which comprise the human mind, determines the configuration and hence the character of the holographic energy matrix, which the mind projects intercepts meaning directly from the holographic transmissions of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, deeply think about what it is that I'm saying to you all and what it is that I'm about to show you all. If you're still here listening, smash that thumbs up button. So then to make sense of what it is that I'm attempting to say to you guys, the holographic image is saying to it, the mind proceeds to compare the image just received with itself. Specifically, it does this by comparing the image received with that part of its own hologram, which constitutes memory. By registering differences in geometric form and in energy frequency, the consciousness perceives, as psychology Keith puts it, Contrary to what everyone knows is so, it may not be the brain that produces consciousness, but rather consciousness that creates the appearance of the brain. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to play some video snippets for you guys. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this intuitive video breakdown. Because in this dark world we're in, I've noticed a pattern in what is being represented. People think that this stuff is just a game. There is a reason why you see people dressed up as Satan, not just, you know, like Satan slipping himself in a little bit. No, full on visuals of Satan, people dressed as Satan, you know, dressed as a demon, got upside down crosses all on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes. And people are just like, oh, that's funny. It's, you know, we're making fun. No, there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that, y'all. They know good and doggone well that God exists. They also know that Satan exists. They're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that. But either way, the things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you. Whether you realize it in the moment or not, they affect you. That's why they do it. Entertainment industry, it's about influence. I'm not going to sacrifice the honesty in order to be politically correct. Is your modern music system weaponized? God created this world with perfect mathematical equations like the Fibonacci sequence and using 432 hertz for pure tuning. So why, in 1953, was it changed to 440 hertz? Well, because the Nazis and the Rockefellers pushed for it. The same people that created discord in modern medicine. Mozart and Giuseppe Verde used 432 hertz for tuning because they knew it created peace and harmony in their music. If you build your tuning off 432 hertz, all octaves result across some of nine. No other scale does this. And to knock it off eight degrees to 440 creates disharmony and disease. Just like all the frequencies like Wi-Fi, your cell phone, radio waves do. They know what they're doing. They're creating discord on purpose. So now you know how modern music has been weaponized. Now, I want my audience who's scratching their head right now, like, Cypress, why are you making this content? You're a trader. What's going on? What's up with the daily crypto updates and the technical analysis? I get it. But I'm attempting to not only utilize our following base to awaken people, but I'm also attempting to help individuals progress in life. Not only is our media and music industry directly correlated with the elite world agenda, but the corrupt regimes also use the international financial system in two major ways both to divert national wealth for their own benefit and to conceal the proceeds of corruption and illicit gains. Without access to the international financial system, they wouldn't have the means and incentives to loot state assets on such a scale. To hide stolen money, corrupt leaders use similar money laundering techniques, subterfuges as those used by tax evaders, terrorists, and organized crime groups. These include unscrupulous wire transfers, the use of complex web of shell corporations and trust banks, secrecy jurisdictions, as well as a wide range of elaborate legal and financial schemes devised to route illicit flows into the mainstream banking system and conceal the true ownership of their funds. The looting of state assets and laundering of proceeds of corruption would not be possible without the complexity of the complex network of professionals, such as bankers, lawyers, import export agents and accountants and other financial intermediaries that exploit the highly secretive and under-regulated global financial structure to protect their clients' interests. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you all think that there is such an interest in regulatory frameworks around cryptocurrency assets? Because it is going to be the new protocol that runs our digital financial ecosystem. And the elites want to make sure that they can wiggle their way through the new financial ecosystem in the same way that they have done for hundreds of years.
Case studies from Pakistan, Mexico, and the Republic of Congo, among others, illustrate how illicit flows and state assets looting are made possible by loopholes in their international financial system. Global financial opacity and the lack of enforcement of due diligence requirements, both in secrecy jurisdictions and in major financial centers. Now, if I'm blowing your mind, ladies and gentlemen, you all really need to understand, okay, that there is a major shift in our financial system, and the elites are going to do everything in their power to try and stop you from participating in the global shift that will only come once in a lifetime. This digital revolution that we are about to live through as human beings on this earth is about to be in Sane, ladies and gentlemen. Through the use of media propaganda and fear-driven headlines, they will continue to suppress the ability for individuals to think for themselves. So with that being said, I'm asking that you all with this video interpretation, however you take it, I hope that it starts your journey to investing, self-independent thought. I have a few book recommendations that I highly suggest any viewers watching this consider reading. They will not only help you prepare for what is about to come, but they will also awaken you to what is really going on behind the scenes. Now, the majority of these books you can listen for free, either on YouTube or read via PDF format on Google by just simply searching on a Google browser. However, for me personally, I like to have the books in person hard copy. You guys can get any of these books on Amazon for underneath of about $20 United States. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and towards the end of this video breakdown, I will give you all a few book recommendations that will truly help unlock and awaken you all to what is going on behind the scenes and hopefully get you out of the rat race and help you escape the matrix. They're able to, to lock in a consumer for life. But the problem is, as, the, you know, as this kind of infamous saying goes, you'll, you'll own nothing. Yeah, and, and be, be happy. And be happy. learn nothing and be happy. <laughs> so what is then, would you say, the end game of the global reset? Of the great global reset? A great global reset. I think the end game is control. I think the end game is governments and corporations being able to... To what end? Control to what end? I think control to influence influence how we live our lives influence how we live our lives influence how we live our lives influence how we spend you know where we spend again you know it's what's so important gerald is you know we're making a difference i really believe that people who follow our work you and i we're, we're finally i think getting through because people are starting to see all the things that you and i have been talking about for so long it's happening it's unfolding people are becoming aware of it and uh, yeah, it's just it's just fantastic. As a matter of fact, go right off of that, Fed President Bullard today, I don't know if you caught this one, he said the economy and the financial system is just great. Everyone's doing fine right now. It's perfect. Just like you said, why don't we just go have a party? You know, forget everything else. Yeah. But absolutely, yes. Uh, no, with regard to the debt, look, the system just that's the way it, it, it's uh, meant to function. Um, it's debt-based. It can't stop. It must find reasons. Uh, reasons must be created out of nothing to continue to fund this uh, system with more debt, whether that's wars, expanding wars, disease processes, face diapers, whatever they want to throw at us. Uh, and, and fear. They need to raise the specter of fear, and they're going to raise it even higher right now. They got they got to make people full of anxiety. They, they got to deceive them, distract them, and it's working perfectly. I mean, yeah, that, from that perspective, everything is great. The debt-based economic model can never stop. Not only can it can't remain static, it has to increase exponentially, and that's why I believe we're going to see expanding wars, some other false flag crisis after crisis after crisis, some other thing that's going to force people to back yet another, you know. Who knows how many trillions of dollars in spending and it's destroying the people we're watching the middle class become extinct become extinct we're watching the middle class become extinct not just here in the united states but around the world inflation started taking off last year the white house kept saying it was transitory even zero that left americans with no time to repair and build a cash cushion if they believe them you know what i mean I know exactly what you mean. I've been following the whole litany. I mean, first they actually told you there was going to be no inflation. Then it was going to be transitory. Then it was the consumer's fault. Then it was greedy business's fault. Then it was actually good for you. Then it was Putin's fault. And next up is bread lines are a great way to meet your neighbor. This is the type of thing that we have been hearing over and over again. They just keep going down and trying to push the can down the road. They're decoupled from reality. Decoupled from reality. Decoupled from reality. 
anybody with a brain knew their policies were going to cause more inflation. We've been warning about it, and they just decided that they were going to be in denial, and that causes even more pain than the deliberate pain that they caused so initially. You hear what and to Carol's point, when you inject trillions of dollars into the economy and then have the audacity to say this will actually lower inflation through the Inflation Reduction Act, any kid with a lemonade stand knows, any kid with a lemonade stand knows, any kid with a lemonade stand knows. That, that that's not how the economy works and that, that that's not how the economy works. And, and you look at these midterms coming up, Elizabeth. I say this as a father of a man who won the Bronze Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. <laughs> Joe, Bo died of brain cancer in 2015. He did not die in Iraq. Right. I say this as a father of a man who won the Bronze Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. Well, and this is like public littering. It's like littering. And, it, and it's literally slamming his polls. The fact checkers have taken on everything he said and, and basically said what he's saying is wrong. Basically said what he's saying is wrong. Basically said what he's saying is wrong. With this video breakdown being concluded, ladies and gentlemen, I am not attempting to sway your decision making in any way, shape or form. All that I'm asking is you take it upon yourself to do your intuitive research, understand that utility driven assets are going to run the protocols that manage the back end of our financial ecosystem. The change and the shift in our digital infrastructure is coming, ladies and gentlemen, and these elites, these people that run our nation, these government entities, they will hide the truth from you. They will hide it in plain sight. They will not tell you that this is happening behind the scenes. And the majority of individuals are sleeping. You will see a YouTube channel like mine with 9,000 YouTube subscribers that puts out valuable information, life-changing information. And then you will go and see some TikToker that shakes their butt for a living that has millions of followers, ladies and gentlemen. The general herd mentality is misled. They're misinterpreted. They're misinformed. And all that I'm asking is that you do your intuitive research. With that being said, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, be cognizant, be aware, and I will see you all on the next YouTube video breakdown. I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, na, 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 na.